going to be sharing with you guys the top 10 tips on how to be safe when you're outdoors. Some of these things happen every day. People go through these same things and I just wanted to like give you guys a heads up. So please share this video with your family members so that they are aware of these things. So safety tip number one is to never talk to strangers. Yes, I know that this is a common thing that you know. We tend to forget that people are actually strangers to us. So let's say you meet someone in the grocery store and they smile at you and hit you up with a conversation and then all of a sudden they are not strangers to you anymore. So a stranger should always remain a stranger. It doesn't matter whether you met that person in a previous shop, you met that person somewhere already and you, you saw them already. It doesn't matter. A stranger should always be a stranger. Safety tip number two, whether you have a call or you have a text message and you are in public if it can wait ask yourself can it wait so that you can just answer it or reply or respond when you are home and safe so if you are in public you shouldn't use your phone you shouldn't use your electronics especially your laptop or your whatever it is don't use it guys your tablet whatever don't use it in public because guess what there is actually someone that is looking at you that is watching you and knows that when you're gonna make a turn at a certain corner they are coming for you and they'll take whatever it is that you're having safety tip number three is to always let people know where you are going and what time you'll be back because when you create a habit like this and you're supposed to be home by a certain time but then you are not and your family members or your friends can't reach you immediately they will realize that something is wrong and the sooner they realize that something is wrong, the sooner they can look for you. Safety tip number four is to never stay at a certain place for too long. Let's say you're going in town and you are like me, let's say, and you want to buy something, but then you go in every shop to compare the quality and the price. So it's not a good idea for you to be moving from one shop to another. Because when you start moving from one shop to another, you become a target. Number five, always keep your wallet with you because it has your ID and everything. So I know we like putting in our handbags and then we leave our handbag anyway. I'm not saying you are actually aware of it, but sometimes you leave your handbag with a friend or a person you just met or someone you actually trust. It doesn't matter where you are or with who. Keep your things with you at all times because anything can happen to you and you have no proof of identity and you're just stranded somewhere, anywhere, with nothing. So always keep these things with you. Number six, never let a stranger assist you. It doesn't matter whether you're at an ATM. You also don't use your phone while you're at the ATM. Because what happens is, you request for that e-wallet, especially if it's a, a cardless transaction, and then you are holding your phone in your hands. So someone comes, he grabs your phone, and then you were not even done with the transaction, so you get distracted, you start running after your phone and you leave the money which was just about to come. Number seven, this is actually a very easy one and it's also um, very common. Whenever you are going out, take a friend along. Don't go out alone because there is actually strength in numbers and when you are alone you become a target for these people. So like, especially when it's during the night, it's not a good idea to go out on your own. Number eight, don't be too kind. I know you hear that crying baby in an abandoned building. I know you wanna help that man or that lady get to her destination by giving her directions or taking her there yourself actually in most cases. But please don't do it. Because when you do this, you don't know if that crying baby is just a recording and there's actually an, a stranger, a kidnapper waiting for you in that building to kill you or do worse things. Whenever you find yourself in these situations, you can always call someone to go with you before you go into that building. Call someone else to go with you in the before you direct that person. Ask for an ID. Let me see your ID. Take a picture of that ID, send it to a person you trust and let them know what you are doing. So that should anything happen to you, they at least have something to start with. So if that person is refusing to give you their ID, then it means they are just not legit. So nine, someone is always watching. I know I've been saying this a lot, but I don't think you guys really get what I'm trying to say. Someone actually knows the time you leave your house. They know the time you come back. They know when you are home and when you are not. Someone actually know that you have come back to this shop. You were already here before and you went away and you came back again. Someone knows. 
so please be careful. Number 10 is a very important tip. Whenever you are catching a taxi, you should always sit next to the car door behind the driver's seat. Because if the passengers in that taxi are actually kidnappers or robbers or murderers or whatever they are, it's actually easy for you to escape because you are sitting next to the car door and it's also easy for you to control the driver. So um, I think it's the best place to sit in a taxi. You should always lock the car door because not everybody that stops a cab actually wants to get in. Some people just want to see who the people are in the taxi, what they are having, if it's a bag, if it's a, if it's shopping, if it's a phone you are using in your hands to reply to that text that could have waited, if it's a laptop you are replying to an email or posting on Instagram, whatever it is, and then they will take it from you and run. So actually, um, safer.